once again we have come at his presence presence of god the father jesus the savior holy spirit our helper and comfort comforter almost as we are going to close this day and all our activities of this day as we are about to prepare to take a good rest wonderful to be here with the lord spending half an hour at his presence giving glory and honor and worship and adoration to the most high in silence remembering all that god has done to each one of us today the day that we woke up and till this moment all the experiences that we had and we underwent people that we met today and the worries and anxieties that we had today and the joy and the peace that we experienced today thank god thank god for each one of us and your family members in silence give glory to god give honor and adoration and that due respect to the most high present in the most holy sacrament today's gospel we read from gospel of matthew chapter 5 verse 43 onwards you have heard that it was said you shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy but i say to you love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you 
so that you may be children of your Father in heaven. For he makes his son rise on the evil and on the good, and sends rain on the righteous and on the unrighteous. For if you love those who love you, what reward do you have? Do not even the tax collectors do the same. And if you greet only your brothers and sisters, what more are you doing than others? Do not even the Gentiles do the same. Be perfect therefore, as your heavenly Father is perfect. We heard Jesus' teachings towards his children, especially to each one of us this evening. Jesus perfects and completes the old law. And going a bit more further, and Jesus says, Love your enemies. Pray for all those who persecute you. Dear loving children of God, it is good to pray this evening for all those who persecuted us one or other way in our life. Maybe people who misunderstand us, people who speak ill about us, people who are not happy in our presence or people who are not happy with us, people who hate us, people who are waiting to put us in a trap. People who wish wrong things come to our life. And all painful experiences that we had from every single one. Maybe our past months or this year or even past years. If we could remember their faces, if we could remember their names, offer at this time. With all courage and boldness, let us pray for them now. We pray for our enemies not because that they are sinners or they are really wicked people, no. They are all good and wonderful in their own ways. Absolutely they are good and wonderful in their own levels of life. But why we pray for them today? If there is any hurt within us, any kind of inner wounds within us connected with their life. Let us pray for them through prayer. Let us bring out all those hurtful experiences and moments and invoke the love of God and keep our hearts filled with that warm love of Jesus. If possible, in silence, we can try to, we can try to remember those people or families or friends or colleagues or in our own distant families or maybe a stranger who disturbed us or irritated us. 
just say a small prayer for them we wish their good we wish their the goodness happen to their life we wish let them receive god's blessing we wish that let there be let them be prosperous and let them be good in their life let us take out all negativities from our hearts and we wish good and we pray pray for all those who hurt us pray for all those caused us or injected us fear or pain one or two minutes in silence let us do this and let us remember jesus says be perfect therefore your heavenly father is perfect why jesus said be perfect like your heavenly father is perfect because just before the sentence jesus says to good example about a father in heaven first one father in heaven makes his son rise on the evil and on the good and sends rain on the righteous and on the unrighteous so there is no malice heart that the heart flows towards good and evil alike such a wonderful god and jesus said if you can pray for those who persecute you you will be you will be the sons of that father let us take one or two minutes in silence remembering every single one or that incident and pray over that incidents that caused the pain or pray for that people who troubled us one or other ways coming two minutes
rest of the time let us sing the seed for the whole world we remember people who requested their prayers people who asked the prayer support from each one of us lord bless them we surrender all prayer petitions and intentions that we received at divine retreat center today and the people who visited at this center for various purpose and in prayers lord bless their holy intentions and their families we remember everyone who is struggling with the covid-19 right now especially the places and the countries where the covid-19 virus going tested positive going higher we offer and we pray for them and the leaders of the particular countries and we remember the hard work of all doctors and nurses and all those who are connected with the health departments in various parts of the world praying for a proper and right cure and vaccine for this virus remembering all those who lost their jobs these days and past 2 or 3 months remembering their worries and agonies and difficulties at this time praying for each one of them that let them be strengthened let them increase their faith and lord provide them whatever they needed help your people at this time your children reveal your eternal plan towards everyone who is struggling reveal your eternal plan towards everyone who is struggling right now we offer the people who has lot of stress at work place due to this pandemic those who are really traveling in a very tough road at this time connected with this pandemic strengthen them o oh lord let us remember all all the sick and suffering from our own families take their names offer to the sacred heart of jesus all those who are sick and suffering from our neighbor's side from from the people who are working with among the colleagues If you know someone is struggling some families are struggling if you know them particularly remember them now offer them surrendering our prayers and petitions let us pray psalm 91 with faith and trust and courage you who live in the shelter of the most high 
who abide in the shadow of the Almighty will say to the Lord, My refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. For he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinions and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and buckler. You will not fear the terror of the night or the arrow that flies by day or the pestilence that stalks in darkness or the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only look with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. Because you have the made the Lord your refuge, the most high your dwelling place. No evil shall befall you, no scourge come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. On their hands they will bear you up, so that you will not dash your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the adder, and the young lion and the serpent you will trample under foot. Those who love me, I will deliver. I will protect those who know my name. When they call to me, I will answer them. I will be with them in trouble and I will rescue them and honor them. With long life, I will satisfy them and show them my salvation. Brothers and sisters, as we are preparing for benediction, Wherever you are at this time, could you please kneel down and we surrender once again our petitions and prayers. Let us remember our parents, our siblings, wherever they are at this time, say a small prayer for them. Remembering everything, Asking God to bless and we receive this word as Jesus said today's gospel. Be perfect like your father in heaven is perfect. And Jesus asked us two more questions. If you love you, if you love the people who love you back, what credit do you have? If you greet your brothers and sisters, those who greet you back, what is the difference between you and the others? You, you follow me and you are a Catholic or Christian, so you try to be perfect. Be perfect like your Father in heaven. So let us try every day, climbing step one after another towards this perfection. When we fall, we say sorry and again getting up and we walk towards perfection and we sing together down in adoration.
Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of this sacrament, of your body and blood, help us to experience the salvation you want for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. divine praises blessed be god blessed be his holy name blessed be jesus christ true god and true man blessed be jesus christ true god and true man blessed be the name of jesus blessed be the name of jesus blessed be his most sacred heart blessed be his most sacred heart blessed be his most precious blood blessed be his most precious blood blessed be jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar blessed be jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar blessed be the holy spirit the paraclete blessed be the holy spirit the paraclete blessed be the great mother of god mary most holy Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary virgin and mother. Blessed be the name of Mary virgin and mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph her most chaste spouse. Blessed be Saint Joseph her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Amen. Amen.